Hey guys! So today I have an exciting announcement for you and I'll also be talking about my progress in Booktubeathon. Today is Monday, July 31st and officially the end of Booktubeathon. So I wanted to go through my TBR, what I managed to read, and my thoughts. I was gonna blog the entire week but that did not turn out so well, so I just figured I would create like a little booktubeathon wrap up for you. So the first thing I want to talk about is my exciting news. I am going to Booknet Fest in September. I guess it's like the last weekend of August in the first couple of days of September. So I'm super excited about that. If you're not familiar, Booknet Fest was created by Marinez from My Name is Marinez and Samantha from Books on Tomes. And they wanted to create like a kind of like a book convention for booktubers and other like online people that discuss books. So I'm super excited to be attending. I'll put all the um, information down below if you want to check it out. It sounds like it's really going to be fun. All the panels sound really interesting so I'm super excited to go. I'm also a little bit nervous though because this will be my first book kind of event that I'm going to. So yeah and I'm pretty shy so approaching people and seeing the people that I've been talking to on booktube. So that's going to be kind of nerve wracking. My mom is coming with me. I know I'm like 25 years old and I'm bringing my mother to a convention with me, but she really enjoys the books too. So she wanted to come and yeah, um, it should be pretty fun. I hope to see a lot of people there and let me know if you guys are attending and you see me. I will be glad to talk to people. I might be a little weird and awkward at first, but I promise I'm nice. <laughs> so yeah, um, let me know if you guys are coming in the comments below and I cannot wait. I'm super excited to attend. So let's just get into the wrap up for book two-a-thon. So I managed to read a total of three books, which I'm pretty happy about. I think my goal, I don't know if I said it on my previous video where I did my TBR, but I really wanted to get to around four books and I'm like halfway, maybe like a third through um, the, one of the other books. So I'm pretty happy with what I accomplished. I completed two challenges. Yes, I completed two challenges, so I didn't do too great on challenge wise but yeah let's just get into the books so the first book that i finished was show your work by austin cleon and i was really excited to get to this book and this was the book that i decided to read for the challenge of finishing a book in one day so i did complete it in a day but i didn't really enjoy it as much as i enjoyed his first book I think that one had a lot more like insights and new concepts were discussed whereas this one felt like I didn't really learn anything I already didn't already know and but it was very inspirational and I did like a lot of the artwork and the like diagrams that he has so it'll be definitely something that I pick up every once in a while and I just liked how he's very he's very how he motivates artists to just show their work, show it consistently, and don't be afraid of making something that isn't perfect. So I really enjoyed that concept of the book. I kind of wish there was a little more actionable advice, I guess I would say, as to how different artists can show their work, what different ways, like examples of ways that artists have shown their work in the past or that sort of thing would have been very cool. But overall, I really enjoyed this book. So yeah, the next book I finished was One Day We'll All Be Dead and None of This Will Matter by Sachi Cool. This one I read for the challenge read a book about a character that is different than you. And if this kind of just follows like some essays that she wrote about her personal life, about race, about rape culture. There's a lot of different topics in here and I I enjoyed this book but I there's a lot of it that I didn't enjoy. When I first started reading it, the first essay I didn't really connect with so I wasn't really 
feeling very motivated to read the book further but then as we got further along I really enjoyed the essays where she was talking about Indian weddings and being a female and also the essay about having a lot of hair because I could totally relate to that um so I enjoyed a lot of her essays but there were a couple that I really just didn't mesh with and I think she tried to make her work a little too humorous where I think it kind of downplayed the real serious topics that she was talking about in some of the stories. So uh, overall I think it's worth reading if you're interested in learning about Indian culture or uh, just a fan of Sachi Cool's writing. I think you would find this interesting but I I don't know, it wasn't exactly my cup of tea or what I was expecting, but I'm glad that I got the opportunity to read it because the essays where she talks about the Indian wedding and all of that was just really descriptive and really amazing and it really was very insightful because I didn't know a lot of that about it. So yeah, I think this book is definitely worth checking out. And the next book that I completed was Let Them Eat Chaos by Kate Tempest. This is a poetry collection or I guess it's more like one large that covers like many different perspectives of people in London. I enjoyed this poem so much. It was like probably by far one of the best things that I read. Well, I actually listened to this on Spotify and I have to give a shout out to Leanne Rose, her booktube channel, because she mentioned that it was on Spotify. This has been like a poetry collection that has been on my radar for a really long time and seeing that it was on Spotify that I could easily like listen to it, I just had to check it out and it was such a great decision because it was really amazing. At first it took me a little while to get into because I've never kind of experienced anything like the spoken word with like music incorporated into it but it got me hooked really quickly. I actually ended up listening to it probably about 10 times during this week because I enjoyed it so much. I just love like the mixture of music and the way she like, and the way Kate Tempest recites her poems is just so beautiful and so emotional. It was just such a great poem and I was so happy that I got the opportunity to listen to it. I definitely will be picking up the physical copy very soon just so I can like have it in my possession but yeah I really really enjoyed that book. I guess that kind of goes with the challenge because I ended up finishing it in a day as well but since I've already finished Show Your Work I completed I considered that as the challenge for finishing a book in a day but I, I just recommend this poem to anybody who, even if you don't like poetry, this is like a really great poem to start with because it goes through a very interesting narrative. You follow seven different people and you just see what they're thinking about in the middle of the night. It's just so cool and just such a great concept and I really, really enjoyed it. And the last book that I'm currently still working on, I wasn't able to finish it before book two a but that is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. And I really wanted to get this one finished with book two a but it was just really long and it's kind of taking me a little bit slower to read than I was expecting. I thought this was gonna be a little more faster read since it is YA but it is a little more um, slow paced than I was expecting so it is taking me a longer to read. I don't know how I necessarily feel about this book so far. I get that it's covering like a really important topic in the Black Lives Matter movement and that's something that's really important and it means something to me but the writing and the storyline is it really doing much for me at this moment? I'm only about a third of the way into the book and there's a lot more to go so we'll see how I feel at the end of this book but I know a lot of people said that while it was a really great topic the writing just wasn't anything outstanding and I'm kind of feeling that way right now and I think it's kind of hindering the story in a little bit. Like I honestly wish that while I do enjoy that she inputted like slang and that the characters actually talk like African Americans in these neighborhoods would talk and I love that but I think that this book would have been better in the third person just because 
while the slang is very, it's good and true to the book, I would have liked there to be like a little more constant in terms of like the narrative. I think a great example of somebody that does the dialect very well but also creates a beautiful strong narrative is the book Their Eyes Are Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. That is one of my favorite classics of all time and I think she does a really excellent job of creating a beautiful prose but also having that dialect that feels very much like African American and very much part of our culture. So I think that's one root part of improvement that I could say so far but I still have a long way to go so who knows. But I'll probably have this in my July wrap up, maybe my August wrap up, we'll see. So far it's definitely a very emotional read and I'm glad that I had the opportunity to read this book. So yeah. So those are all the books that I got through in book Tubathon. Unfortunately I am wasn't able to get to three of the other books that I had in my TBR, but they will definitely be something I'll be reading soon. Let me know what you guys got through this week, and I hope your book to thon was a little more productive than mine. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!